Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and I am super excited because today we are going to be sewing the Be Dreamy doll version. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started. The first thing is we're gonna grab our back piece and our front piece and we're gonna put them right sides together, matching um, those shoulders and those side seams. So we're gonna sew that up. Um, you're gonna see how quick it is to actually sew this little dress. And I love, love, love. So I'm matching the, sleeve, the shoulder and the sides. I love, love, love that there is a kid's version, an adult version, and a doll version. That is so cool of this dress. And not only that, but Sewing for dolls is so cool because really you can use any type of scraps. Like I just had a little bit left over of this gorgeous fabric and I'm like perfect, perfect gift uh, for my little niece who has tons of dolls. She's going to love it. I love it. Um, one tip that I'm going to give you right now off the bat is usually when I cut patterns for dolls, I make sure that I use one of these clips and I clip the fabric and the pattern together, all of them together because if I'm sewing different uh, uh, doll patterns, sometimes it looks, this could look like a little piece of scrap and you end up throwing it away by mistake. So if you don't sew it right away. So, and I usually sew, cut at one point and then sew later. So it really usually helps when I put it all together. But anyway, let's go ahead and sew those sides and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my skirt and I'm gonna match those raw edges, right sides together, the front and the back. I'm doing the high-low version because my doll is extra. <laughs> my, I say my doll, it's not really my doll, it's my niece's doll. So we're matching up those sides, right sides together. And we're gonna go ahead and sew, oops. We're gonna go ahead and sew those two sides. If you're doing pockets, you will have your pockets right there, right sides together, and they will be facing out now because you would have already attached them, go down around the pocket and down all the way. All right, time for sleeves. I'm gonna grab my flounce, super cute, pretty much all done. I'm gonna mark, fold it in half and mark the two half areas right here, the two ends. So now I know where the half is. I'm gonna do the same for both. Um, I was going to say, um, oh yes, I remember. I, I forget everything. Anyway, um, since this is a knit pattern, this flounce is designed not to be not to have to hem it. Um, and being that this is a doll pattern, I'm not gonna even worry about it. But if you wanted to hem it, you surely can hem that. Uh, but we're just moving on to putting it on because we are knit hemming. Okay, so I got my halves marked here and I'm going to place them right sides together where those seams are, where you made the shoulder seams and when you made the body, the uh, armpit seam. And that's where we're going to attach them. We're gonna do that for both. We'll go around and sew that down, both uh, flounces. And then after we do that, I'm going to go ahead and fold the neck down and top stitch. You know what? Let's, let's leave the top stitching for the end because then I can, if I plan to hem my dress. But I'm not really even sure if I want to hem my dress because really, it's a doll, right? I don't know. <laughs> I probably will just because it's me and I'm looking at it and I'm like, eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Sometimes I don't even hem my own stuff. So, you know. <laughs> All right, let's go sew this. Make sure when you sew this tiny little thing, you can use a sewing machine if you want to as well. I'm just using a serger because I like my serger. But make sure when you're sewing, you make you take all those other pieces out of the way because it's such a tiny thing that it would be so easy for it to get cut on there. So you have to be very careful. That's the only downside about sewing um, doll clothes that you have to be very, very careful because it's so tiny. And I almost just cut my other end on there. I just saw that. Then go super fast. Alrighty, so now that we've got our skirt all finished and our bodice is finished as well, I'm just kind of trimming all these 
little pieces of thread. And now what we're gonna do for the neckline, guess what? All we do for the neckline is fold over and hem. And that's really exciting because doing a neckband for a little doll sometimes can be hard. So hemming will be super easy. Well, I guess I say hard, but not really because usually if you're doing a, a neckband, you usually use like some hoop and loop in the back or something and it's fine. I don't know. All right, so I am folding that hem down. Well, yeah, folding and steaming that hem down and then we're gonna go ahead and hem. And while we're hemming the neckline down, we're gonna go ahead and do the same for our uh, skirt. So there it is. Again, listen, if you're like, oh, I don't know that I wanna hem that. I wanna leave it all raw, go ahead. Leave it all raw if that's what you wanna do. It really, it's okay. You can do that. You can leave it raw. I know. And most of the time, kids won't even know. They'll just be, oh, this is so cute. Thank you. I love it so much. Right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and also hem the skirt. Now, because the skirt, this one is a high low, what I do right here is I just fold that corner all the way in and then I fold it back over on the other side. So it just goes like the curve goes folded and then this one folds right over it. Um, nothing to be scared of. It looks scary and you're like, ooh, it's a curve, but it really isn't a curve. I mean, it is a curve, but I'm just gonna fold it in and then fold it down and top stitch it. That's what I'm doing right there. And as I'm doing the like curved hem, I'm just kind of pulling on it uh, to make it do what I want it to do. This fabric is gorgeous. I can't get, every time I sew with it, I'm like, I love this fabric, it's so pretty. So I'm so excited to be using like the last little scraps that I have left of it. I'm like, gotta use them for something. I think I have a little bit more, like a tiny bit more of the scraps. So I think I'm gonna make um, some scrunchies too with our scrunchie pattern. So let me go ahead and hem that. We'll attach the skirt, we'll be done. All right, here we are with our dress. Now the last but not least is to fit our bodice into our skirt. So this is the front bodice, this is the shorter area. Let me turn this right side out, cause inside out. Oh, actually, let's turn the skirt inside out. So let's find the front. Here's my front, which is the higher, uh, no, this is my front over here, the higher, area right there and this is the higher area right here so we're gonna match up those edges those raw edges we're gonna match up those side seams and then all the raw edges all the way around and sew it and we'll be done this was such an easy and quick sew. This is one of the easier uh, doll patterns because there is not even any hoop and loop, there's nothing. And honestly, if you didn't hem this uh, dress, if you just left the edges raw, it would take you like no time. These are the perfect scrap busters and perfect gifts for any little one that likes um, to play with their dolls. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that round. We are done with our cute, cute, cute dress. Look at that. Now I just need to steam it down and I am done. How cute is this dress? I love it. I think it's super cute. It was super, super simple to sew. I can't wait uh, for to give it to my niece. She's going to love it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please go check out our Facebook and Instagram page. Please go check out the adult and kid version of this pattern, um, which is obviously just as adorable. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't so you never miss any of our uh, other sewing tutorials and I'll see you next time. Bye!